Are your students struggling with decimals, specifically with division? Let's handle this right now by learning step by step how to divide a decimal by a decimal. So this one here is my dividend and this one is my divisor. All right, that means the dividend is the one that goes in a, do you see the word den in here? This is the one that goes in a den, so, and this is the one that goes outside. So another way to write this is 6.912. This is how much stuff you have, and I'm gonna divide it by 1.2. All right, so the numerator, the dividend, always goes inside, and the divisor goes on the outside. So this one, you see how it has the word visor in it? Okay, so let's put a little visor on this number. See that? Okay, then we're gonna put this one in the den. 6.912. Okay, in order to do this problem, I need to know my 1.2 times tables, but I don't. So instead what I'm gonna do is I am gonna multiply both the top and the bottom by however much I need to make this a whole number. Do you see how it's only going to take a multiplication of 10? So that's gonna move the decimal point over one hop. Whatever I do to the bottom, I've gotta to do to the top. Otherwise I change the problem and you get a totally different answer. Okay, so that means I'm gonna to have to multiply this number by 10, so let's move it over one hop, okay? So rewriting the problem, it's gonna be a 12 into 69.12. All right, and now I can do my division. So this is exactly like long division with whole numbers. So 12 doesn't go into six, but it does go into 69. It goes in five times. Five times 12, keep everything in the row, is 60. And we have a nine. We're gonna drop that one down, so now we have a 91. 12 into 91 is going to be seven. Seven times 12 is 84. Okay, and I take the difference, and I get a seven. I'm gonna drop that two, and it goes in perfectly, doesn't it? All right, as a six, we have a 72, and we have zero remainder, okay. The last step is to push up that decimal point. Okay, and my answer is 5.76. Let's try another one. 26.08 divided by 0 0.4. Okay, let's set up the problem. The numerator is the one that goes inside. This is the one we're splitting into parts. Okay, and we're gonna divide it by the denominator, 0 0.4. Okay, our divisor. Okay, again, we've got this problem. This is not a whole number. And so let's make it one. So in this case, we're just gonna multiply by 10. That's enough to get this moved over. And whatever you do to one side, you've got to do to, or the numerator and the denominator, whatever you do to one, you gotta do to the other. Okay, and sometimes it might be multiplied by 100, sometimes 1,000, whatever you need to do to get this one. Okay, the one on the bottom, the denominator, the divisor, okay. Is into a whole number. So let's rewrite this. This is going to be a four divided by 260.8. Okay, so that's the problem we're going to do. All right, so four goes into 26 six times, and the difference is two. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this up. Okay, we're gonna drop that zero down. Four goes into 20 five times, and it's a perfect match. We have zero, but we still have more numbers to work with. So we're gonna drop the eight. Four goes into eight two times, and it's a perfect match, and we have zero remainder. Last step, don't forget to push up that decimal point there, okay? And our answer is 65.2. So let's set this up together. This is going to be 2.115 divided by 0 0.05. Now this time, do you see how I'm gonna to have to multiply by 100 here, not just 10? Okay, so let's put the divisor, let's put a, we're gonna rewrite the, uh, the denominator, okay? Put a visor on it, there we go. And put the dividend into the den, okay? And then what we're gonna do is multiply top and bottom by 100, so this thing becomes a whole number. So one, two, the decimal point now goes there. 
So the problem I'm actually going to do is 5 into 211.5. The first thing we're going to do is say 5 doesn't go into 2. 5 goes into 21 four times. Minus 20, the difference is 1. Drop that second one down. 5 goes into 11 two times. Minus 10 is a 1. Drop down that 5. Okay. And if you want to put the decimal point in as you hit it, that's fine. Or you can put it in at the end. Okay. And 5 goes into 15 three times. And there is no remainder. Okay. So the answer to our problem is 42.3. What if the numbers are really small? <laughs> Let's try this one. So this is going to be 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.8, okay? So that's going to look like 0 0.8 and 0 0.03, okay? So this is going to go one hop this way. My problem becomes 8 into 0 0.3, okay? So 8 doesn't go into 0, 8 doesn't go into 3 either, okay? So now we're going to start adding zeros. 8 goes into 30, it goes into 33 times, minus 24, and I have a difference of 6, okay? And then what do we do? Well, we keep adding zeros, okay, until we have enough decimal points, okay? 8 goes into 60, 7 times, minus 56, and we have a 4 left over, okay? So let's just add another zero. Drop this one down. 8 goes into 40 perfectly, doesn't it? Five times. And there's no remainder left over. Okay. So where's the decimal point in this number? It's always right above. Okay. So I'm going to put it right there. Notice there's a number here, but nothing here, so I have to put a placeholder zero in. And I like to put a number in front of the zero, so it's obvious that there's a dot there. So my answer is 0 0.0375. If you enjoyed learning how to divide decimals, then I encourage you to learn all four decimal operations the easy way by joining me in a free class on decimals. You can register for free at getmath.net slash decimals. I'll put the link in both the description as well as put the link in the comments.